I have a couple friends with kids, and a few weeks ago I decided to make them all growth charts. So I did what any guy with a salt would do, and I referenced the internet for ideas. I saw several different methods, some people using stickers, some using paint, and a few days into my search, April Wilkerson released a video using a wood burning technique. I personally don't have that kind of patience, I don't have that steady of a hand, and my OCD would flare off the charts if any of the lines were wiggly. So I can't do that. Second video I saw was a guy using a CNC machine, which was awesome. All the grooves were recessed. I don't have a CNC machine. I decided to use a mix of techniques. For the branding of the numbers and family name, I'm using a toner transfer method I got from Jay Bates. To cut the inch increment grooves, I made a template out of plywood that I can use with my trim router and a guide bushing. For stock, we're just talking about a pine board from the home center, a can of cheap black spray paint, your home printer, and some boiled linseed oil. Ain't it funny how she looks to me to save her? Who am I to give the rights? My every step is a failure. But the sun keeps coming up. It's like an addiction. Yeah.
Here's a finished project. Pretty simple. Very little money. Just some time. I'm seeing these on Etsy for around $40, so pretty large profit margin. I finished mine with two coats of boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits mixed 50-50. That still gives you the ability to write on it if you so choose. I also made the spacer block for easy installation. It gets the growth chart six inches off the floor to clear most baseboards. I might still have to trim some of these down because here in the older homes in New England, some of the baseboards can be eight, sometimes even ten inches tall. Your results might vary. The baseboards in my house alone are seven inches, but I don't have kids, so that doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't keep me from trying though.